two wheels A and C are looped together by a belt. The belt does not slip. Wheel A has a radius of 0.1 meters. Wheel C has a radius of 0.3 meters. Both wheels are initially at rest when the motor connected to wheel A's axle is turned on. The motor provides wheel A a constant angular acceleration, 0.6 radians per second squared. How long would it take for wheel C to reach an angular speed of 5 radians per second? The two wheels are connected by a belt, so the rims of the two wheels have the same speed, the same linear or translational speed. When the belt moves by one meter around the small wheel, it also moves by one meter around the big wheel. So for points on the rim of the wheels, speed A equals to speed C. For rotation about the fixed axis, rotation about fixed axis, we know that the speed equals to r times omega. So the speed is r times omega, r times omega, so it's the r omega of wheel A, is r omega of wheel C. The two wheels have the same linear motion, but because they have different r, that means that their rotational motion will be different. They don't have the same omega. This means that they also do not have the same alpha, but they would have the same acceleration. But this is the acceleration that's uh, related to the alpha. It's the acceleration that's related to the belt's acceleration. And since the belt goes around the tangent to the circle, so this is the tangential acceleration. And it is the Acceleration that's related to the alpha because tangential acceleration, the one that's responsible for speed change, is r times alpha. So the tangential acceleration of the point on the rim of the wheel A equals to the tangential acceleration of the point on the rim of wheel C equals to r A times alpha A equals to r C times alpha C. We know that Ra is 0.1, alpha A is 0.6, Rc is 0.3. We can find alpha C. Alpha C is 0.2 radians per second squared. So now for wheel C, we know that the angular acceleration is 0.2. Initially, the wheel starts at rest. And we know we want to reach a final angular velocity that is 5. And we want to know how long it would take. It's constant angular acceleration motion. Which equation connects these four things? It's the omega equals to omega naught plus alpha t. The final velocity is 5. The initial velocity is 0 plus 0.2 times t. So we should find the time to be 25 seconds. What if we replace the two wheels linked by a belt with two meshed gears like these? How would our work and answer change? Nothing. All the work and the answer would still be the same, because the two meshed gears would also have the same speed at the rim.